Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. So this is for my Leos, Sun, Moon, and or Rising, possibly even Venus if you know your Venus sign. But this video is all about the energy that you can expect to experience or feel during the month of May. So, you know, this is a general reading and I do want to say that before we get started that this is a general reading. So um, while I can maybe provide some insight as to what's going on subconsciously. It's your intuition that's going to really be doing the heavy lifting here. And that's really going to be providing you with the very clear cut. This is the part of the message that you need to apply to yourself. This is the precise part of the message that you really need to apply to your life right now. So, um, you know, make sure that you guys are intuitively connected, that you guys are, are intuitively tuned in throughout this message. That the way that you guys can get those little intuitive hits throughout the message. And that's your spirit guides, that's source letting you know that, hey, this part of the message is really important for you. I'm going to offer you guys a nice little 15 second meditation before we get into this video. That way you guys can kind of get into this uh, intuitive space, you know, calm the mind, calm the noise, and for you guys to really receive this message intuitively. So I'm going to offer that 15 second meditation starting right now. All right, so hopefully that 15 second meditation was enough for you guys. If not, feel free to always pause the video, of course. Don't forget to also check out your um, other signs to get a really nice overview of the month of May and what's going to be going on. So I will leave all the rest of the signs that I've done for the upcoming month of May linked down below and you guys can check those out. But without further ado, let's just get into this reading. So the very first card that I have here for my Leo, Sun, Moon, and our Rising, possibly even Venus is the Five of Swords. Then the hanged man. And then the moon. So this was quite interesting for me because for me, it really looks as if I got a vision of somebody literally doing like a free fall, almost like if you were to go bungee jumping or like go skydiving or something and you kind of go into the space where you're free falling at first. And that's what I really saw with uh, this particular group right here because with the five of swords I got the feeling that you're relinquishing you're relinquishing control you're not necessarily this guy here you're you're this guy over here walking away like just kind of done with everything and then the hanged man he is all about surrender he's all about seeing things from a different perspective but the only way to see things from a new or different perspective is to surrender is to let go to relinquish control and then we have the moon card here and the moon represents the night it's that you know it's kind of like that scary place it's like being out and there's no there's no uh street lights around there's nothing around except for what God has provided us with being the moon and the stars and it can be extremely very very dark and, and very scary at the same time and I kind of see my Leos for the month of May I see this energy of kind of free falling or wanting to free fall really wanting to explore those hidden parts of yourself or explore those hidden emotions explore parts of yourself that's not very obvious explore parts of your life that's not um that's kind of hidden away or that you haven't really dealt with in a sense, you know, kind of deal with those hidden factors in your life, wherever that may be. Um, but I definitely saw, like, like I said, kind of like, almost like this free fall where you just kind of relinquish control. And, um, <clears throat> and, and if not, then for my other group here, so that could apply to, you know, um, a lot of the people watching this video for the other side of the coin let me just say it like that there's there's kind of two sides of the coin with this though because i'm seeing that there is also the possibility for the month of may for you to really try to resist going into this place of explore of, of exploring uh the hidden realms and the hidden parts of yourself i see that there's also a possibility of not really wanting to explore those parts of yourself but may is really going to open that door for you if there's anything that's been left unsaid if there's anything that's been left undone may is really going to offer you the opportunity to really kind of tie up all those uh loose ends with your emotions with your feelings with your relationships with your energy with a lot of different aspects in life that maybe you've kind of just put on the back burner and just kind of uh neglected maybe even abandoned because you felt like this isn't 
something that I can win. This isn't something I'm ready to deal with. But now I'm kind of seeing where May is opening up this beautiful opportunity to say, hey, here's the door. Here's the opportunity. Do you want to step in? Yeah, it's going to be scary. You know, this is the nighttime. The nighttime is scary. But the moon card also represents our subconscious. It also represents our inner selves. And I can see my Leos here really doing a free fall or having the energy of maybe wanting to explore those hidden parts of the self and the hidden parts of the self are the subconscious are the emotions so just anything that um really emotionally gets to you really emotionally triggers you really emotionally stimulates you or subconsciously stimulates or uh, triggers you so let's go ahead and take a look at some of your oracle cards here the very first one that we have the golden egg you guys and the golden egg talks all about dealing with the heart chakra, our feelings, our emotions, what we can sense, what we can feel. And then the very next card that we have is dolphin. Oh my goodness. Yeah, dolphin is the healer in this particular animal oracle deck. The dolphin here, he is the guy that is super intelligent he's a natural healer and he brings light and blessings and um, i'm just going to read to you guys what it says about the dolphin here and i'll just hold this up the gifts of the dolphin are beyond what our human minds can grasp dolphin personalities are often drawn to the healing arts as they are sensitive to the subtle and enjoy working on the level of spirit it's easy for dolphin types to underestimate the impact that they make in the world these creatures play such an important role in the wheel of karma that coming in contact with a dolphin type will change the entire course of your day and thus your life this card can also indicate a profound blessing is on the way when in balance active healer strong spiritual practice when out of balance underestimates their own power and to bring into balance more like-minded spirits and then the golden egg, like I was telling you guys, has to deal with your heart chakra. And in order to be a healer, in order to in order to be this dolphin who's a healer, who is this uh, who brings light, who brings healing, who brings blessings, um, you have to be in touch with your heart chakra. It's so important in order for you to heal. Um, you have to be in, in touch with your heart chakra. You have to be in alignment with your heart chakra. And that's what I'm seeing for the month of May. What I'm seeing for the month of May is a real opportunity to uh, do some profound healing work for the month of May. Like I said, anything that's been left unsaid, um, any kind of loose ends that's been left, this is going to really be able to kind of bring things to, to a close for you. It, it's, it's really going to be a time where May is offering you some closure with a lot of uh, deep-seated, deep-rooted things. And then like I was telling you guys here with the golden egg, that's all about the heart chakra. Um, you know, they say that um, our inner guide sits in the heart chakra waiting deep in meditation, just waiting for us to uh, return to him or return to them and um, kind of waiting to guide us and give us this um, give us this loving guidance and it says here about the golden egg by bringing the mind into the center we discover a portal to the most intimate and luminous space yeah this is where our true selves lie at is within this golden egg and that's where there's a lot of um you know if 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 the golden egg really hasn't been kind of activated or uh, sought after, um, then there could be a lot of things there that's kind of waiting to be healed, kind of waiting to be dealt with. So the, I, like I said, I see, I see May bringing a beautiful opportunity to really find some closure with these things. The next card that we have here is Diana, focused intention. Keep your unwavering thoughts, feelings, and actions focused on your target and you will make your mark. Yeah, so stay focused. Stay focused on um, really doing uh, a lot of healing work, really coming to closure with a lot of things. The next card that we have here is Aracura Blossoming. You are just getting started, so have patience with yourself and the process and do not give up. Yeah, so you're just kind of blossoming. You're coming into yourself, honestly, is what I kind of feel like this is. I kind of feel as if... Um, you're really coming, you're really coming into yourself and you're coming into a space where you're like, you know what, that issue that I dealt with, the thing that hurt me or that thing that I went through or that thing that I experienced, that situation, um, I owe it to myself to, to deal with this. I owe it to myself to bring this thing to a closure so that the way I can move on with my life and I can move on with my life in the best space possible. The very next card that we have here is hold your vision fixed moon. Sounds just like focused intention with Diana here. Yeah. So it's really telling you actually, so it's really telling you to, uh, 
stay clear, stay with that focused intention, realize what this is, realize that the month of May is, is really going to be all about you kind of focusing um, all of your energy on this heart chakra, this heart center. So it's really asking you to kind of um, just stay in a space where you're really focused on this healing um, aspect, this this healing kind of um that you need to go through and that you need to deal with so that the way like i said you can kind of move on with your life because i think that maybe possibly this is something uh whatever it is you're supposed to be focused on for the month of may it's probably something you've been kind of carrying around for a long time and it's time to let it go next card that we have here is you and your loved ones are safe new moon and cancer yeah i like that one i really like that one because it's like it's 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 really nice to have a reminder that you're going to be safe because like I said the moon card it kind of represents night it kind of represents darkness it represents the things that scare us the most um and 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 that's why it represents our subconscious as well because our subconscious can be such a scary place which is why we as humans we love a distraction we love a good distraction because it keeps us away from our subconscious self it's not until we find that balance and it's not until we find that courage that we're able to face ourselves and um I'm seeing this here like like I was saying with uh, May, I'm really seeing the energy of you guys kind of come into this place to where you're just kind of free falling into this this scary place. And because it's time, because you're ready. The very next card that we have here is serendipity. Yeah, I really do. I, I keep pulling this card all the time, literally. I, don't, I can't get away from it. But I do see that you guys really ended up really ending up in a place where it's kind of like heaven on earth after you deal with this issue. The very next card that we have is to be fair. You see the scales right here? Yeah, this is really all about um, you being true to yourself. You really going into this heart chakra center and being um, true to yourself and saying, what is it here that needs to be dealt with? What is it here that I have not dealt with? This is not a time for denial. This is not a time for, oh, I'm okay. I've dealt with that. No, this is a time to be vulnerable. This is a time to be um, as vulnerable as possible and be as truthful as possible by saying, yes, this is something that has been hurting me, affecting me, um, affecting my life and it is time for me to deal with this but the only way that you can get to this courageous place is by being vulnerable and being truthful and being aware that is so important just like it says here focused intention then it says here um hold your vision so really it has a lot to do with awareness as well i'm seeing and the heart chakra has everything to do with awareness because when we deal with our emotions when we deal with our subconscious it's all about being aware it's all about being aware of what we sense, what we can feel, not what we not what we can necessarily see with our physical, tangible eyes, but what we can feel and sense. The heart chakra is all about what we can feel and sense because we can't necessarily see in the dark. We can't see in the night. We can't see if we were outside alone at night and there's no streetlights around. We can't see, but what we can do is we can feel, we can sense. Sometimes you can see so much more with your feelings, with your heart, with your emotions what with your senses than what you can actually see physically see the very next card that we have here is unfinished symphony yes all of this is confirmation right here this card is confirmation right here that may is going to really give you an opportunity is really going to bring along an opportunity for closure to really bring this song to an end bring this song to a close you know um unfinished symf symphony is all about finishing that that uh piece that you're composing finishing that part of your life that you were involved in finishing finishing it up you know maybe that person's no longer in your life if if it's someone that's hurt you but you might still carry around the baggage of the pain of that of that experience and it's time to it's time to to bring it to a close it's time to finish the symphony the very next cards that we have here are fairies earth magic Then waterfall, effortless. I love that. So yeah, this can, uh, if you work with the energy in May for my Leos here, if you really work with the energy here in May instead of resist it, this is going to be effortless, just like the waterfall. It's going to be so effortless. It's going to be so simple. It's going to be probably, um, honestly, a, a beautiful eye-opening experience for you. Because I do believe that throughout all of this, throughout the month of May, that if you work with the energy that the month of May is going to bring my Leos, if you work with this energy, this is going to bring you a lesson that you can apply to the rest of your life for the rest of your life. This is going to be something that really teaches you um, 
such an important lesson in the long run. The next two cards that we have here is unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. And then new love, a new person has stirred your romantic feelings. So maybe whoever it is you do meet in May, um, if it's a new person, uh, it might not be really worth you putting too much stock into. Um, from from what it sounds like here it says there's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going so maybe it'll kind of come in hot maybe it'll be like somebody really really nice to kind of keep things simple with or spend some time with but other than that um it kind of looks like for may not really focusing on your love life too much if that's something that's a really big focus for you like i said this really looks like something that um you're going to be dealing with um within kind of dealing with coming to a closure and it makes a lot of sense with astrologically with what's going on and I've I've probably mentioned this with each other sign that I've done uh these videos for for the upcoming month of May because with this new moon in May it's going to be uh focusing in the constellation of Andromeda and it's going to be the very last new moon that we have in Andromeda finally because we've been dealing with her for for about a, the last month and a half and Andromeda she is uh this uh, character figure in history who's this damsel in distress so we're finally going to be done with her with this new moon this, this new moon coming up in uh, May here May 5th new moon in Taurus we're finally going to be releasing that kind of victim damsel in distress energy and um, that's the great thing about this is so much closure going around everywhere for everyone honestly then the very last card that we have here is study let my mind be clear and strong let me study well and long and for me what this card means is really to um dedicate time to yourself really dedicate time to knowing exactly what it is that you need to deal with uh just like you would study for a certain uh test or something at school you'd really be hyper focused on that one subject or that one test and that's what i'm seeing um for you guys for my leos here with the month of may is really being hyper focused on the energy of healing for the month of may just like you would if you were studying for something in school but um yeah this is all i'm seeing for my leos good luck to my leo sun moon and our rising possibly even venus thank you guys so much for visiting my channel and i pray that you guys have an amazing healing month of may thank you guys for tuning in and i'll be back next time all right bye guys